And I was never good in academics. Mm -hmm. I was always in the slow classes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh, know. That's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant until <laughs> until later in you know, in my education. But yeah, I was in the slow classes, but I was always good in motor skills. Uh -huh. So like sewing. <laughs> so so you know, I put a lot of effort into what I was good at to make up for my inferiority complex. Wow. Uh, and so I think that. Dance was was a real passion for me, and it was more than a passion. It was kind. It was a um, um, uh, uh, an acknowledgement and and a reinforcement of my self worth. Mm -hmm. And um, who were your first teachers, by the way? In, in the, well, was Ruth Page? Oh, you were oh, in no, Chicago. No. no, she was ballet anyway. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, a, a, an Isidore Duncan teacher. Um, Bingo. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, a Ruth St. Dennis teacher, oh. and then a modern dance teacher. Uh -huh. And when my brothers graduated and left the house, my mother had one of the teachers come and live with us so I would have a kind of a sister. Mm. And also, my sister died, and then I was born, and I, I was driven by the idea that uh, I had to be worthy because I was taking the place of my sister for my mother. Oh. So I always had that kind of drive to, um, that my mother would be proud of me. So I, it, was, it was kind of complicated. I, I was, um, yeah, I, I was perhaps too driven. But I want to, to ask am, you. But I didn't feel I was ambitious. Right, I understand that because I feel the same way. But, uh, but I'm curious about the, um, the okay. There's something about being a dancer yeah. that is unique. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure why it's so unique. In other words, is it the... It's like you're, you're pressing through the, the, a world that can only be expressed in a certain way through the magnificence of expression of actual the physical living gesture of something and that there is a kind of almost I mean I hope I'm not being romantic but a, a kind of an initiation into something that is a very unique stream and I I mean I've always felt that mm -hmm. you know I, I, I and, and I have that drive also I mean, that's, and it's beyond me. Mm -hmm. It's something that awo awoke in me mm -hmm. and that keeps propelling me mm -hmm. and pushing mm -hmm. and wrecking my marriages. <laughs> yes, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, so, I mean, do you feel that? I mean, do you? I mean, well, I think that the, when you talk about what's unique, yes. I think one of the things that is, uh, that always amazes me is that as a dancer, my body is my instrument. Yes. So it's very immediate. Yes. So all my life experiences are in my body. Yes. And that's my instrument, and that's what I I, I must uh, call upon. Yes. And I think that's very special and yes. very unique. Um, uh, and and uh, then I think there uh, about dance. I think that dance. Because your body is your instrument, that if you can u utilize all the aspects of what this is what provides, whether it's using text, whether it's using sound as you do so beautifully, whether it's using visuals, whether it's using uh, you know a therapy therapy in the sense that you're you you know, but it's very funny because people accused me of being a therapist, and I'm not a therapist. No. It's, they don't accuse an actor of being a therapist right. if they show emotion. Mm -hmm. But if a dancer so, shows emotion, apparently that's therapeutic. But I think that uh, that completeness of, of, of this instrument we have to express whatever it is we're grappling with is extremely uh, powerful. Well, there's something you, ta you spoke of in uh, Breath Made Visible. You spoke of the needing to get away from 
the uh, when you started working with actors, it sounded like like all of a sudden you were able to enter and carrying the spirit of the dancer, you know, never never not having that, mm -hmm. but not the kind of choreographic Martha Graham. Yeah. But it seemed that when you, there were two things that struck me in your film. One of them was the that segue into working with actors, it mm -hmm. seemed to me, that you were able to redefine what the, because I also worked with actors, mm -hmm. and it was very interesting to me to suddenly work into such a, an emotional and mm -hmm. and and the gestural world. Mm -hmm. You know, when you spoke of the gesture of this, you know, to that and to this, I mean, that working with real gesture, not not uh, indicated gesture, Tangible. you know, not pretend gesture, but so so that I mean, I recognize that because that was a. Um, you, you know, without leaving the magic of being a dancer, but ta letting it take a different shape and form. So that segue into working with actors, can you speak to that at all? I mean, and, and, and does that strike any... Yeah, any I, I, uh, I, everything you've said is, is right on. In, and that uh, by working with actors, John Graham was an actor, mm -hmm. and he, I worked with him for 18 years. I know, I want to get to that, by the way. Yeah, so... Uh, he liberated in me the opportunity to use my voice and to find gestures that weren't mm -hmm. just uh, based on pedestrian right. movement, but were based on emotional responses, yes. which is different than basing your movement patterns either on anatomical, structural uh, truths or on, um, uh, uh, but rather on emotions. Mm -hmm. And in intensive care, that was definitely oh, that where was I, I was coming from. I mean, that was definitely could have been more acting. And yes. Because the gestures were coming from emotional. Okay, so if we look at, you see, one of the things I look at in performance or in anything is what I call a fully realized moment. Mm -hmm. I'm very big on Stanislavski because oh. I worked with him. With my husband was uh, in the actor studio, and oh. so I, I worked with Strasberg and blah blah oh. blah. And so, I, so yes, I mean, when in intensive care, it it comes into the fully realized gesture to me mm -hmm. that is that is describing the totality of experience. So mm -hmm. it's it so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. In the in the film, when you talk about John Graham and you just mentioned Tim and the other uh, young, a, a yeah, okay, I felt a and of course I've had to deal with this myself, but the breaking up of an eighteen year relationship. I mean, you know, you sort of skidded over that in the mm. in the documentary, but I can't imagine that that wasn't a really yeah, it was horrible. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So in the in the. Uh, you know, Martha has that piece, exits and entrances, mm -hmm. you know. And so in a life well lived, the way you, you have, you know, the exits and entrances are, the exits are really painful. When mm -hmm. an 18-year relationship and the, the, the collaboration and everything. So I don't know if you want to talk about that or not. But well, that, I, I, I've thought about that after I saw the film. And he cut out, you know, he, he, in the editing process, he... he, he uh, moved the film the way he saw it. But mm -hmm. what he cut out was that I finally said to them, you know, um, it was really meant to be because it opened new doors for me. I couldn't depend on you anymore. Mm. So it opened up new doors. I never would have done the things that I've done mm -hmm. if that relationship had continued. But you mm -hmm. made it possible for me to say, hey, there's something else out there besides mm -hmm creating these, these uh, avant-garde works together with you. Mm. And for me to be the uh, performer, I, 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 I can do other things with dance. Mm. So I really am grateful. As painful as it was at the time, mm -hmm. it really turned out to be what was seemed like a curse turned out to be a blessing. Well, see, at every point... In and your, I think that's important. Well, it is, but at every point in your life, from everything you said, you keep turning it into lemonade. Oh, you yeah. know, the most, the most painful. So, but in terms of that ability to let go with, with having pain, mm -hmm. I mean, so what was that moment like or that period when you really had to let go of it? I mean, you, you, you did make lemonade, but now what was the lemon part like? 
It was hard. Well, hard how? Uh, it, well, it was just like losing a lover. Yeah, that's why. I've, that's what it seemed like. Yeah. I uh, mean, it just felt very. Uh, yeah. I could feel it in you. You know, of that the ending of a whole phase. Eighteen years is a long yeah. time. We could we could enter a space and just say, okay, this is it, and we could just create a dance, right, just like that, we just turn it on, and and it was uh, very challenging because John was uh, a fantastic performer, mm -hmm. so it challenged me to get to that level with him, mm. and in, and A was very intense, and so it was fun, and it was... Uh, uh, I think we produced some incredible pieces, like uh, uh, Apartment 6 was just, a, I'm sorry we don't have any video of that, but that mm. was an a unusual piece. Um, but it was, it worked out for the best. So here we are, you know, we're both elders, mm -hmm. and we're both looking at uh, what we're leaving and what we'd like to see. So in terms of, I don't know if you think about what what you would like to see in relation to the future. You know, what, what, what blessings, you know, you've seeded a lot. And I mean, that has to feel really worthwhile. I mean, you have done that and you've been recognized for doing it. Took you know. a long time. <laughs> well, it took a long time, but you're still here. But I mean, what would you like to see, you know, in terms of, like, if you were able to return after 50 years, you know, and take a look, what, what would you like to see? Uh, well, one of the things is happening, and that is that the planetary dance now is mm -hmm. being done all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's for all people, children, adults. We even had dogs in it this year. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, somebody who <laughs> was running with their dog. Oh, on, I love that. Leash. Uh, that's one legacy that mm. I feel very uh, happy about. Mm. Uh, the other is that I think there's now a uh, redefinition of dance that has taken mm. place. And I see many young people uh, who used to just think that, well, if I, I'm, I'm learning to dance so I can be in somebody's company. Right. Now I see them branching out and realizing that well, I can use dance uh, uh, with elders, I can use mm -hmm. dance with uh, 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 disabled, I can use dance with older people. I, I mean, I see them beginning to use dance as a part of life. And I think mm -hmm. that anything I can do uh, to further that expansion of mm -hmm. dance, as it was in, 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 with indigenous people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nothing new about it, it's mm -hmm. just coming back to something very uh, old, mm -hmm. and, and if you look at indigenous cultures, they always dance for life, they dance for being successful and hunt, they dance for the sick. We lost that somewhere along the line, and I think that it's coming back in a new way, and it's very encouraging, and I, I do as much as I can to mentor young people. Well, you also have a reverence in the body that is... Uh that is really, uh, I always feel uh, that people that work with the body are in the stable next to the horses and the pigs, that <laughs> we're slightly better than sharecroppers, that anybody who works with the body is a little bit of, a, a, a kind of in the animal kingdom, slightly above. So you have to be like Shamu the whale in order, yeah. you have to do tricks in order to get attention. Yeah. And the, what I feel, you know, and I, I, I I mean, the purpose even of this whole event of, you know, it, it, being with you is the, the, it, it, the enormous capacity you've had to dwell in, in terms of the physicality of, of being alive, no matter what shape it was in, no matter what stage of whatever was going on, was going on. And, and you know, Anna, that is so... I just think that is just <laughs> so critical. So I bless you. I thank you. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it mm. takes one to recognize one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. ah. Thank you, Anne.